There's no substitute for experience. And in 1982, no one experienced more success than Team Honda. Honda's production motocrossers are as close as possible to factory works bikes in design and features. Ideas proven by three national championships have been immediately incorporated into the 83 production CRs. Like the new CR480, its redesigned engine delivers a remarkable horsepower through an all-new five-speed transmission. Pro-Link rear suspension with new 12-way adjustable compression damping and 20-way adjustable rebound damping and a dry weight of only 225 pounds that puts the CR480 right at the minimum class limit and a gas tank that extends down the side of the frame, concentrating more weight near the machine's center of gravity for better handling. There's also a removable rear frame section for easy servicing and a lightweight aluminum silencer. The Honda CR480R, big bore motocross technology refined by Roger DeCosta and proven by Team Honda. Works performance doesn't stop with the CR480. Both the CR125 and 250 are also based directly on factory racers. Their liquid-cooled two-stroke engines are even more powerful than last year, yet both machines weigh in at the absolute class minimum. On the 125, the engine has been completely redesigned to be lighter and more compact. And both bikes feature a removable rear frame section for easy access to the shock and air cleaner. And they both have improved Pro-Link suspension with adjustable compression and rebound damping. And special no-slip rims with strong straight pull spokes. These bikes are so advanced, you'll think you're riding a works bike. The Honda CRs. The CR480 with a new five-speed transmission and a redesigned chassis for improved handling. And the CR250 and 125, two liquid-cooled wonders that are lighter, more powerful, and more maneuverable, thanks to works technology. And for younger riders looking for a serious competition machine, the CR80. The 80 has a brand new liquid-cooled engine that pumps out incredible horsepower. It's lighter and has revised suspension, giving it even more speed and better handling. For 1983, Sirius Motocross technology extends even further into the mini category. Introducing the new CR60R. It's a scaled-down, high-performance machine with close-ratio six-speed transmission. Wrapped in a works-type chassis with Prolink suspension, it's destined to dominate the 60cc category. The CR80 and CR60, two mini motocross machines from the biggest name in motorcycling. The Honda CRs for 1983, designed for winning. stroke at full throttle. It symbolizes power, and it is power for 1983, more than ever before. If you think four-stroke dirt bikes are tame, you haven't ridden the all-new XR500R. There's no more exciting way of riding off-road or off the ground. The 1983 XR500R is a completely new machine. It features a new design radial four valve cylinder head that produces an unbelievably wide power band. Put into a new, extremely lightweight chrome molly frame, the lightest 500cc enduro weapon ever made. And the new XR500R has state-of-the-art suspension that's designed to put the power to the ground. 
11-inch travel air adjustable forks up front and 11-inch travel ProLink rear suspension with adjustable damping. There's also a new lightweight front disc brake. The XR500R, the power and handling to run wide open across wide open country. It's the winning combination that puts this XR out in front and pulling away. But when the trail turns to deep woods and the going gets tight, there's another open class Honda four stroke, the all new XR 350R. It tips the scales at under 250 pounds, making it just that much easier to dodge rocks, bushes and trees. Its engine is amazingly compact and has the same advanced radial four-valve cylinder head design as the XR500R. And the same ultra-wide power band with all the torque you'll ever need. It's all put into a new high-performance chrome Mali chassis. With adjustable damping ProLink rear suspension and massive air-adjustable front forks. Resulting in almost 11 inches of suspension travel to front and rear. It'll get you through terrain that other bikes can only get you into. The new XR350R declares open season on everything else in the woods. No wonder it's got the trail all to itself. But some folks want it both ways. Not just a dual purpose bike, but a dirt bike that's street legal. The most powerful dirt bike ever to put rubber on a road. The new XL600R. It's the ultimate big board dual purpose machine. With an all new compact dry sump engine, a new radial four valve cylinder head, and long travel suspension front and rear. It's as close as you can come to riding an all out dirt machine on the street. It sports a halogen headlight, front disc brake, and all the features necessary to make it street-wise and street-legal. And that also goes for the new XL200R, a 200cc four-stroke dual-purpose machine that has the dirt bike heritage of the XR200R. Tough four-stroke engine? You bet. ProLink rear suspension? It's there. And air adjustable front forks give it dirt bike handling that's right for the street. Get on the new XLs and have it both ways, on and off the road. It's got a wheel up on the competition. If you were going to build a motorcycle for yourself, You'd start with a classic V-twin engine. You'd want three valve heads and liquid cooling for power and reliability. If you could, you'd add a maintenance-free hydraulic valve adjuster system and a special offset dual pin crankshaft to eliminate vibration. Then you'd pump all that power through an efficient maintenance-free shaft drive system. You'd put it into a modern chassis with a traditional custom look, and you'd give it a perfect name. Finally, you might even add one more thing. The 750 Shadow from Honda. And if one shadow isn't enough for the competition to chase, there's the new 500 shadow 
A high-performance V-twin machine for the mid-size class. The same classic look. Combined with modern technology. And both machines have the same combination of handling features packed into a narrow, lightweight chassis. Both have five-speed plus overdrive sixth transmission. Air adjustable front forks. Exclusive Comcast wheels. around exhaust system that delivers the powerful message of the V-twin engine. The Honda Shadows 750 and 500. By any standard you choose, performance, handling, or style, they give new meaning to the word custom. Only from the leader. Only from Honda. Introducing another new custom motorcycle, the CX650 Custom. With more power and torque than you ever thought possible in a CX. It's the lightest motorcycle in the 650 Custom class, with an extremely low seat height. It's equipped with cast alloy wheels, a twin piston caliber front disc brake, 39 millimeter leading axle air forks, and shaft drive. Its classic styling guarantees a positive emotional response. Best of all, it complements the entire range of mid-sized bikes from Honda. The CX650 Custom from Honda. Daytona. The new Honda FWS Formula One road racers. They gave the world a real taste of V4 power. In a high performance motorcycle that utilized a twin radiator cooling system, Pro Link suspension, a 16 inch front wheel, torque reactive anti dive control. They were more than a match for everything on the track including their own rear tires. From this technology comes a production street machine that is a mirror image of a Formula One racer. The 1983 V45 Interceptor the machine that will expand the sport bike market, creating a totally new ultra high performance class. It has the best combination of engine and chassis ever designed for a production motorcycle. With a race developed rectangular section frame, cradling a special high performance V45 engine, the most powerful Honda 750 ever produced. Dynamics integrate a dual radiator cooling system into the streamlined bodywork. 39 millimeter front forks that are both air and damping adjustable. Prolink rear suspension with adjustable rebound damping. Twin piston disc brakes with torque reactive anti dive control. A wide 16 inch front wheel and road race type tires for handling that can be described in one word. Incredible. Any way you look at it, the Interceptor has it all. Power, handling, and style. A motorcycle so superior that for 1983, Team Honda will use it as the foundation for their super bikes. The V45 Interceptor. Born on the track, bred by technology proven by Team Honda, destined to dominate the 750 class and stretch the lead even further in 1983. It's out in front 
and pulling away. The Nighthawk 650, a new statement in performance and styling for a totally new riding experience. It begins with a new compact 16 valve power plant, light in weight, but heavy on power. More than any other engine in its class. A solid state ignition, a hydraulic clutch, a revolutionary hydraulic valve adjuster system to create an engine that almost takes care of itself. But there's even more to this Nighthawk. A high efficiency shaft drive system, massive air adjustable 39 millimeter forks and torque reactive anti-dive control. Dual front disc brakes with twin piston calipers. Rear shocks with adjustable rebound damping. Cast alloy wheels. And a high performance oil cooler to keep the Nighthawk 650 running cool and ahead of the competition. And there's still more to give Nighthawk control of the road. Another motorcycle good enough to be called Nighthawk. A new motorcycle designed to be the fastest in its class for 1983. Good enough to outperform the Maxim, to outperform the GPZ. The new Nighthawk 550. When this machine hits the streets, it'll hit them running fast. The new leader in the 550 class. With its 16 valve double overhead cam engine, this Nighthawk puts out horsepower at 9,000 RPM. Delivered through a high efficiency shaft drive system. This new high horsepower engine employs maintenance-free technology that keeps its performance edge razor sharp. Along with that goes a five-speed plus overdrive sixth transmission, standard oil cooler, a high-performance chassis with Honda-designed cast alloy wheels, tubeless tires, and air-adjustable front forks. The list goes on and on. The power, the performance, the styling that lives up to the name, Nighthawk. The new 650 Nighthawk. The new 550 Nighthawk. Only its reputation will move faster. Only from Honda.